Hello, hello. Today I want to talk about something that many of us might find a bit daunting. Handling employment gaps on our resumes, whether it's due to raise a family, health issues, or the ups and downs of the job markets, gaps happen. But don't worry, I've got some great tips to help you navigate this and make sure your resume will always shine. First things first, honesty is the best policy. Everyone including hiring managers, has gaps in their employment. If you try to hide it, you might come across as having something to hide. Instead, explain your gaps in a way that highlights your skills and experiences. For example, if you took time off to care for a family member, talk about the skills you developed during that time, like time management and problem solving. Next, don't forget to highlight any unpaid work. Warm caring and unpaid internship can be just as valuable as paid positions. Treat them like any other job on your resume. Describe your role and highlight your contributions and accomplishments. If you stayed at home to raise your children, emphasize the skills you gain managing a household. If you did freelance work, you group this experience together. This makes your resume look cleaner and shows you are a committed consultant rather than a job hopper. For example, list freelance web developer and then detail your projects and achievements under that title. This way, it highlights your expertise and the results you achieved for each client. Sometimes it might be best to remove very short-term positions, especially if they lasted less than three months and aren't relevant to the job you are applying for. You can mention this briefly in a career note at the end of your work history section. This keeps your resume focused and uncluttered. Investing in professional development is another great way to fill employment gaps. Take relevant courses or attend conferences to boost your skills. Add this to the education section of your resume with the dates you completed them. This shows potential employers that you are proactive about learning and improving. And if you took time off for a sabbatical, that's okay too. Just list it in your professional experience section. For example, sabbatical. Intentionally left the workplace to raise a child. Now excited to return to work. You don't need bullet points for this, but be prepared to discuss it during an interview. Lastly, consider using different resume formats if needed. A functional resume focuses more on skills than professional experience. However, use this as the last resort because it can sometimes raise red flags for recruiters. Always keep your employment history consistent across all platforms, including LinkedIn, and be honest in your cover letter too. Remember, employment gaps aren't the end of the world. Be honest, highlight what you have learned, and focus on what you bring to the table. If you found these tips helpful, give this video a like and share it with anyone who might benefit from it as well. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.